Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 23rd of 2023 well, it is titled Along the Taurus Molecular Cloud. So what do we see here? Well, looking toward the constellation of Taurus, and in fact, just a little bit north of the bright star Aldebaran, the brightest star in the constellation of Taurus, we see a very dusty area, part of a molecular cloud or a region of star formation. And within it, we are going to see a lot of dust and we can see that scattered all around the entire image. You can see some concentrations to the lower left and upper right. And you can also see dust scattered around the entire region in a thinner wisps that flow through that part of the sky. Now when the dust becomes concentrated, we see it better because it is now blocking out the light. And still the dust is just a very small amount of the material there. It's just what is visible. The gas that is much more dominant is very hard to see. And you think of that like our own atmosphere. While we cannot see our atmosphere directly, it's there, but we know that it is very clear and that things light passes through it very easily. Well, light generally passes through the gas very easily and we can then not see the gas. So hydrogen gas could be is very prevalent here, but is not visible. But when the dust becomes condensed together, it becomes dense enough that it blocks out a lot of the light from behind it. And therefore we can no longer see through those regions. And those are the dark regions where stars are currently forming. And in fact, into the lower uh, left hand side, we see a nebula there that has some very young objects that are in the process of formation and the process of forming stars. And we also see what are called Herbig Otto objects, which are regions that are excited by the jets from very young stars jets of material come out as the stars are in the process of formation and when they strike the material in the interstellar medium they cause it to glow now we also see towards the upper right we see the star T Tauri kind of within a yellowish nebula there and that is the prototype of a specific class of star known as T Tauri stars. Now we have now come to realize that these are actually stars that are like our sun but extremely young. So that when our sun was still forming it would have been a variable star it would not have yet settled down to its final state where it has reached today. So would have been very would have been variable and that's how it's classified as a variable type star. But this would be the first few million years. So while the sun and the planets around it were forming, it might have been a star much like the one we see here today. So that was our picture of the day for November 23rd of 2023. It was titled Along the Taurus Molecular Cloud. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Stereo Jupiter. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.